After I got fired as a software engineer in November 2021, I started building tiny little websites with one goal in mind, become financially independent. As I'm recording this video, I made $121,000 in the last 30 days with seven websites I built. 92% of that is profit and I am a solo developer wearing underwear all day long, except when I'm making those videos. I don't have any employee, I don't have any meetings, I don't have any deadlines. I got lucky. In fact, exactly one year ago, I was making $1,000 per month with all my websites. And when I got started, I made zero dollar for five months. I would never believe what's happening today because there is no magic recipe for success. But I discovered something. When I started the journey 900 days ago, I joined Twitter and hang out with other developers chasing the same dream, build our own app and achieve financial freedom. Every day we'll share progress we make on our little website and share our learnings. But after a few months not getting really good results, most of them stopped showing up daily and gave up. But a small group of developers did not give up and keep showing up. Fast forward to today, most of those developers make well over $10,000 per month. So here is the thing, luck is math. If you show up for long enough, even though you don't feel like it, luck will find you. I launched a website in the void for 600 days. There were tons of opportunities to give up, but I kept showing up every single day. And I would never earn 120K in the last 30 days if I gave up. So here are three ways I managed to stay consistent and motivated shipping apps every day for the past two and a half years. The first project I work on as an independent developer is called Mood to Movie. It's a very simple app that recommends movies based on your mood. It took me just a few days to build the first version of the product because in my head, there is some kind of monkey that wants to have instant results. So I can easily convince him to work hard for a couple days, but it's much harder to get it to work hard on something without getting results for a month. In fact, in 2017, when I started the journey, I spent an entire year working on a product that got zero users and I just burned out completely and stopped working on any project for another year. So now, whatever I have an ID in mind, I always try to ship the smallest version of that product, usually one feature that I can build in a couple days, sometimes a week, and show it as fast as I can to customers. I usually don't like hanging out with people. I spend most of my time alone or hanging out with my wife, but being isolated is no good. And at the same time, humans are very social creatures and we can leverage those social interactions to motivate ourselves. When I joined Twitter two and a half years ago, I would follow other developers doing the same thing as me. And I remember this guy called Dan. He was writing crispy tweets and he had around the same number of followers as me. And every morning I would try to make a tweet that would have more likes or engagement than him. It usually did. Sorry, buddy. There is another monkey in my brain that wants to play a game. So I compare myself with other entrepreneurs at the same stage so I can leverage my uh, desire for competition. No jealousy, just healthy competition because in the end we all win. Most of my product made at least $1. And so I was really tempted to focus and try to grow each of them. And actually people ask me often and why do I work on so many projects instead of focusing on just one? And there is another monkey in my head that have expectations. The more time I spend on a specific task, the higher the expectations. So I could select one project and keep adding features and features and features, but that will also grow my expectations. And if nothing big happens, then I will just simply burn out. Instead, I will launch a tiny website and move on to the next project unless something big happens, like it was the case for Shipfast, one of my products. I would rather quit too early and miss an opportunity than quit too late and burn out. Shipping websites is like a muscle. If you're on progress, you have to practice consistently. Try locking one hour every day with you and your code editor until it becomes a habit. And to avoid losing motivation and stay consistent, try what worked for me. Ship very tiny little projects, join some kind of community where there are like-minded people where you can healthily compete against them and quit even if it's too early so you don't burn out. In the end, entrepreneurs who show up daily will be rewarded. I've seen this with my own experience as well as other developers. So now, it's your time to commit and fill that GitHub contribution board. All right, if you want to see the 20 plus website I built as an independent developer, here's a link to another video. And if you enjoyed this one, consider subscribing to the channel. That really means a lot. And until the next video, I root for you and I hope you just ship it.